Then I have a question about Kai, from Kaido. What about moving averages to get back into the market after a, a crash? I recall buying the dip is not a good strategy. There was an, uh, there was an article that I, I think even, even this month there's an article coming in. Um, there's like a little reading section in the quant value newsletter and it talks about buying the dip is not a good strategy. But I think he tested buying the dip if you only buy when the market dips. For the newsletter, we use um, a 200 day moving average that we look at once a month on the main market, on the S&P 500, on the stock 600 for Europe, on the Japanese market. And if the market is below the 200 day moving average, then we stop buying in those countries. There was a study by Rebain Faber, we talked about tactical asset allocation, and he found that that was a very, very effective indicator. He did, however, mention that he doesn't look at it every day, just like we do. For the, for the newsletter, we look at it once a month because otherwise there's just too much, no much noise and you will, um, you will generally trade too much. So for the newsletter, we don't buy, we don't recommend new companies if the market is below the 200 day moving average because the most volatility is there as well. That's what McBain and Weber, Faber found as well. And stocks, the most volatility on the downside, in other words, negative movements. And um, we start recommending companies again when the market is above the 200 day moving average.